the only delay he's got. Yeah, he was getting crushed mid initially, but things have turned around very quickly, and now Black with a level 6 Pudges sitting around looking for that hook dismember, and Sumail does not have a remnant out. Oh, he's got it. The Hawk straight into Sunstrike. Sumail, the dismember will hold him there, and the damage will be enough. Jabs gets another kill. Racking up now four within nine minutes on the Invoker. Just trying to keep my eyes on this wonderful combination, this hook into Sunstrike, and they try and do it as a big prediction. And Black's looking at another target. Arteezy is making this very easy for him. Yeah. Stand still, Rot, Dismember, and here comes the Sunstrike. Wait up just long enough. And Black, he is a catalyst now to just pump up and fuel this Invoker. He was hoping for like a, a Luna or an Ember Spirit there. And perhaps they try and force the fight, but even if one of those heroes gets caught, it's still very dangerous. Smogus is tearing chains off, Nick's assassin tries to turn around with a spy camera, that's actually setting up three with the Paralysis and Gun, Gun Strike yeah. pulls him in, the Deafening Blast, a Meteorite burning to mail, as well as Arteezy on the back lines, the Paralysis and Cars control them so well, another spy camera stun too, Universe is just trying to bail him out of here, running close, and just retreat what, back still here? No, I don't know why he's still here, did he actually not get caught inside the ulti? It's a double kill for Black! And Universe went back to the Shrine! Black is already on the aggressive. He's gonna perhaps catch Zai up top. Yeah, nice. waiting for him. Gets the Hawk into Dismember and Sunstrike once again. Rinse, repeat, and bathe yourself in the blood of EG. Suddenly what was like... Why take the risk if you don't have to? Instead you just jump in with the... Uh, with the Nyx Assassin, he's got himself a fresh Shiva's guard before this fight begins. The Hawk lands from Black, dragging back Zion with a deafening blast. There's no way to really react to it. Same with Eventual Spirit and Nuts. It's going to be a full death ward. Arteezy has to tennis ground. Use the 10 second BKB to win a fight with some L jumping in. Mass amounts of spirits. There's enough damage there, or is it? No, Black just pulls him back in. He's got so much life. He takes through so much. Finally, the killing spree will be ended on Black, but really at what cost? EG has lost so much. Universe is locked inside the tree. Line. The sun strike's coming in. That's the death of universe. And well, uh, you got one. Question is, who can actually kill it? I don't think I saw meant to do that either. He triggers the strike. Whoa, okay. Ah, that's the uh, one. Very dead, Nix. 45 seconds. We'll have buyback available. This void is just brutal. When you've got a TA, you can blink and burst the hero oh, with one that's a big find. They found Tinker down in the tree lines with a pit down as well. There's very almost no way the jabs get out of this when they turn on the magnetized too. Focus over on the Slark. Oh. Nick's assassin already brought back with Black able to dodge that last little bit of an attack. He's running in. The sentry wards are down. So EG have that detection if Black tries to do any kind of shenanigans with that silver edge. And okay, Black Epic sends it in from XY. Is that enough? Templar Assassin Jamail. will burn the Aegis the Immortal. And in comes Universe. Where is he going? They're actually taking him all back to the shrine. If everyone can get together, <laughs> they are bailing out. Everybody's out. Everybody will regenerate and faceless get nothing. I mean, Sumail made a bit of a... And with Blink Dagger currently on cooldown for ISI size, he can't just jump and RP. This is a bailout time. The stun from Crit won't connect, so Nuts will be to fly over the oh, hillside of Willy. He'll turn around, puts the curse over on line. Black will arrive, rolling bottle forward. Oh, and the RP. the RP with the Magnetize, the Sun Strike will kill off the Underlord. They have enough damage, but the stuns, they just chain them all on top of Black, allowing Sumail to jump forward so they get the kill over on the Juggernaut jabs. Does he help out his teammates? No. They let it be a three on three trade, make it a three on four trade with Arteezy picking up at the end there, XY. But you look back up to top lane, Jabs is already starting this push once again. So Nuts has to curse over on the Weaver. So Mal wants to jump forward looking for the kill and he does go for it. And the RP Ooh, is down. Perfectly. The Sun Strike is here and will it be enough damage? Yes, with the skewer forward, they had just enough. Jabs will TP over and now it's faceless. Only slashing through on TZ will have to actually time lapse out the damage, but he's happy with that. Soaks up the Omni Slash, but now caught out. Silence, the kick goes through. Call Hits on the crit, so you actually have an extra opportunity. But Universe is coming to try and help out. Remember, he'll bring that heal. Arteezy, Chikuching his way up, but you've already got Magnus looking for a bigger target with the Splinter Blast through. A skewer up with the extra slow. The Sun Strike right on top of Zai. EG, they're losing so many heroes. And Faceless fighting beautifully. A good position here on the high ground with the advantage. Arteezy. Sentry's there. Oh, the mail. Mail. He jumps up instantly. The Sun Strike's gonna be there. Hit by the meteorite on the back lines. A huge kick. Roll him back and RT him in a second. There they are. Put them all together in one big bag and crack the eggs of EG. They're dying so quickly. The damage will be there to bring down the Earth Spirit. But Black's on a triple kill. Arteezy fuels up and towards the air. Do they have enough control for him? Black, maybe they actually 
actually do. If Faith is actually starting to fall a little bit, Jab is isolated. Artiz is going to be on the run with Shikuchi. He's got the movement speed. They have to commit a lot of buybacks, EG, to take this fight. So Artiz will get the double kill. They need to take Roshan as well. Buybacks available for the Invoker, but Black caught out by Samael. The buyback will work for him. Samael <laughs> will die. Uh, Samael will live. You know, as soon as that smoke pops, oh, they see us, but we don't see them. Oh, Artiz, quick silence on the on the Earth Spirit, but he blinks away. Magnus in the in the pit. He'll trigger it. Oh, no! He actually threw out the ultimate. And Universe immediately Dr. Bottom. Yeah, look at him go. They are with the curse. Oh, with the curse. Oh, the oh, 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 the mail. It transferred him down. Radiant's and they killed him mid-TP. Two minutes on the sideline for the Ember Spirit. That actually worked. None, he may not save the day, but allowed Jabs to initiate. None strikes off the mark. Remember, he still oh, got the refresh drop available. And now with a buyback, you want that Ember to start fighting. He'll jump out, back out to the Spirit again. Magnus triggering the Shiva's guy, keeping Earth Evil Genius out, but maybe if Ice 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 goes down here, this is problematic. The top lane's top being lane. attacked too. So no Once Ice Ice Ice. Weaver is low with a Deathling Blast. He'll time lapse off the damage. Still surviving. The side of Fist and Ember, he's back into the mix. Done by Wyvern, and this oh. will be maybe enough damage. Black has his ultimate available. He wants to Ice Ice the nail with a kick forward. They look over to 10. The bounce continues. Zai will go. It's a triple kill for Black. Rolling ball forward. They found another one. They found Crit up next to the ancient area. They'll need a little bit more help to get out of this. Ooh, he'll get or maybe out. not. In the Observer Warden Sentry does count the Chen moving over, but he's only here at the Black Dragon, so this will be faces taking Roshan. So both the Aegis as well as Cheese. They put it on Black. He'll drop the Donator for it to jump forward. The Chen, you watch him. He's that rock that flew backwards. So no Chen, he's down for 40 seconds. That's a dieback, but he's got a nice little talent. He's got minus 40 seconds. He's also time. got EG inside the base. They found the Winter Wyvern. So support for support. Universe, he can just bring his entire team in so quickly. Black will start the spin, try and trigger out a little bit of damage onto Artizi. He's taking so much himself. He does have the Aegis of the Immortal, but it's already triggered. Invoker at least puts that Weaver up towards the air. Sunstrike up on the back line. They find someone else. Yeah, they do. They found some mail. He'll go down. And Crit goes into a protector from Ice Ice Ice. But let's go back inside the base. You need to watch Artizi's effect inside this base as Jabs puts down the Ice Wall. The kick is going to be there. And the silence. Artizi having to stand his ground. He's got so much life with the silence on the earth spirit he may even pop with Artizi getting in closer jabs where's your control refresh robs on cooldown and so is his life he'll have to buy back ice 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 now the sun's on here for the tornado he'll create space will it be enough magnet text up he skewers away Artizi the attack will follow him all the way in the pit the deafening blast won't be enough and now they look for the attack jabs in the tree line with the sun strike he'll connect with the tornado canceling off the lion but he's in the tree line he'll go down two minutes on the sideline oh, to go for that's easy. And GG at 53-51. EG will take game three from Faceless. Very common pickup versus the Bat Rider, especially if you are a BKB carry. Speaking of Bat Rider, oh, nuts. I thought for a moment Nuts is actually in a grab move before this would all happen. You can TP over the shrine if you want to. Nuts looking for some extra control. They get the silence on the Weaver. Magnus here for the RP. Three core black has to cleave on thanks to that big in power. Moon Ghost up as well, buying him some time. Another rolling ball of four with the Magnetite turn on. Black will find a triple kill on top of the shrine and all three heroes of Digital Chaos. So with an extra TP forward, he goes for the silence. This was all pretty much a trap with a follow-up stun. And Weaver, he fell for it. The swap out, the Sonic Wave will connect. But all of them come in the RP again. Three heroes caught in an ice, ice, ice on the money. And they'll find Weehara blink up to the high ground. He's really slowed up thanks to the Fuser Blade. And Jabs jumps up with him. And again, another charge. We with the secondary blink goes into the camp. Do they actually see him there? Well, they don't at the end. Meanwhile, Jabs continues to replicate himself up. Israel's in the neighborhood and the RP again! Ice 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 got him! He pulls to the back with the skewer three gone. Sonic Wave, negligible damage, and this made it to be in with a stolen gust. They're losing everything. The whole kit and Kabuna. We how will blink back into base. Good heads up from crit. Getting the kickstart. Yeah. Already almost ooh, feels like secret reaching at that point. My god, Pi eating a lot of damage from that mighty stack and EG are in the neighborhood. They shouldn't fight at the shrine still. Yeah, they, they are strong against the shrine, but this is still pretty awkward for both sides. Sai wants to go in though. 
Just thinking about it, charges out, gets the bump onto MP, goes for the ulti, bumps him back a bit. RP on the two, but a vacuum wall responds from Universe. Jumping comes out, crits ready to play with a magnetize. Not gonna get the most connection, but damage has been done. His loot is gonna be going down, a follow up takedown, like a triple kill comes out for Arteezy already beyond godlike. Are it's you only 13 serious? minutes in. 13 minutes in, 13 kills.